Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Tim Cade. And in this episode, we're going to be constructing this little beauty. This is the Retro Flag cartridge hard drive enclosure. It's pretty sweet, and I hope that you'll enjoy the process of me putting it together and getting it to work with my Retro Pi Raspberry Pi emulator box and uh, the successes and failures that come with that and uh, some glamour shots at the end. Uh, this thing cost me about 15 bucks on Amazon. It's pretty cool. I really like it a lot. I'll give it a little bit of a closer view for you. Uh, for some reason, it's reversed there, but uh, uh, at least on my display. Hopefully, that's reversed in the actual recording. Anyways, that said, let's have at it and put this thing together and uh, see what we can find out. This is the Retro Flag cartridge hard drive enclosure. What we're going to be doing in this episode of Tim Cade is we are going to be putting this one terabyte solid state hard drive into this enclosure that looks like an NES cartridge. And it looks like the, uh, the Legend of Zelda cartridge, the gold ones from the NES. For reference, here is the actual Legend of Zelda linked to the past cartridge. It's uh, actually bigger than this box, so there's no way it's going to be a one-to-one -one, uh, reproduction of a NES case. But it's still going to look pretty sharp, in my opinion, and that's ultimately what the name of the game is, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Retro Flag case with an actual NES cartridge. Then I'm gonna load it up with uh, my ROM collection. I'm gonna hook it up and we'll see how the performance is and how it does with RetroPie. Let's get started. All right, so open up the top, slide the device itself out, and of course the USB cable it comes with. So here's the thing, the Retro Flag. So it's really cool because the cartridge actually does come out of the uh, the dust cover, which I really love. Works as kind of a case on its own. And uh, it comes with the screws needed inside of it. And this is this is literally just a shell just to, um, uh, doesn't, I think this is what holds the, the SSD because it's got the screw holes. Uh, so you can kind of see how they'll fit. So I believe this is, perfect fit so wow that was loud so before uh before uh we put this in here and get it all set up let's bring this up closer and do a side by side and honestly not too shabby in terms of uh quality it, it is much smaller it's designed to fit a two and a half inch uh drive but uh i love this thing this is neat there. Okay, so let's figure out what we need to do to get this thing all set up. So I believe this is where the bulk of the action takes place because that's where the USB goes and that's the, the drive activity indicator. So I'm not 100% sure uh, how to do this, but uh, it seems fairly straightforward. I think uh, what you end up doing is you just you screw this into here. So you take this and this slides in and I'm not 100% sure how it's supposed to slide in. But we'll find out. So it goes in there. And then you take the cartridge and you slide it in the dust cover. And it's ready to go. So yeah, that's the correct way to put it in. Oops, that was loud. I'm sorry about that. But uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get this screwed on. So I need to pull out my handy dandy kit. Let's go ahead and pull this out. And get a bit small enough for these little baby screws. Little baby screws. They're so small. Can we focus? Come on camera. Okay, well, I guess it's not gonna focus. Anyways, so let's go ahead and pour these out. I think the long and short ones, we're probably gonna use the short ones. Boom. These are little Phillips heads. It's really hard to see, I apologize for that. 
This is uh this is my first uh one of these videos with the new rigging and setup. I uh, got a new mic set up for the audio, which is why you kind of hear some echoing when I sit things down. Uh, I got to figure out a better way to strap that down. Um, but let me figure out where my Phillips heads are. I think this will be small enough. A one, be plenty small to handle this, and it is perfect. Okay, so now that this is in place, the holes should line up at some point. I'm not sure why they don't. Uh, yeah, that would make the holes upside down. Okay, so I think it just goes like this. I think you need the long screws to screw them in, maybe? Is that how that works? is what that is. Let me see if I can adjust this down a little for you all to see a little bit better. Sorry about the clumsiness here this episode, but like I said, I'm trying to get used to the new setup. Through this one. In as such. It voila. Okay. And yeah, it's held in place. Very neat. That's very neat. So let's go ahead and stick our cartridge in the dust cover, which I think is so clever. All right, pull this out. And this plugs in here. Well, if I could figure it out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm just killing it today mentally and there it is that's the whole Sheboygan yay so uh, I'm gonna load this up with some ROMs and we're gonna plug it in and test how that works uh, here in just a few minutes yippee I am so excited about that that's really neat I like that a lot okay files loaded now that that's all done uh I need to clean up my workspace and get everything plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And we'll f it'll be just a second for you. So, hooray. Okay, now it looks like we have ourselves a party. <laughs> I'm going to bring this a little bit closer, but uh, I'm going to probably shrink this and, and show the actual performance here and what's going on in full screen. So uh, bear with me there. It should, uh, should be up there for you, hopefully, if my editing uh, did the right thing. So do... Figure out how, so I'm gonna be fumbling around in menus and such, figure out how to do this, but uh, um, yeah, uh, uh, bear with me.
come back just in time to realize that uh, um, I didn't format the drive in the right way at all. Uh, it needs to be FAT32. I think I probably left it at NTFS. Uh, so that's not going to work. So um, I am going to reformat it and uh, um, plug it in. So uh, fast forward again. I had to create a folder called Retro Pi Mount on the new on the formatted FAT32. Took me a while because uh, FAT32 is not easy to do in Windows anymore. Uh, so I had to find a tool for it. And uh, now when I plug it in, it should take over that RetroPie mount folder, and then I can plug it back into my computer, and then copy the ROMs, then we'll be in business. A lot of, uh, a lot of ado for very little payoff, I, uh, I guess. <laughs> Alright, be right back. whole lot of effort but uh it's now loaded up uh i'm sure i'm going to need to restart the uh um uh, retro pie so uh gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and give it a reboot let's do it like we're in business um i am going to need to do some scraping though so Let's uh, let's play something then. Mm, let's see how a PlayStation game runs. If FF9 runs. Success. Success. That's running right off of the. Uh... The SSD. Oh, there's the music. Oh, that's lovely. That's so lovely. I love it. Yes, Queen <laughs> You see how this looks and how it runs. I'm expecting it to run pretty well. Of course, it's this, uh, the lovely intro. Okay, well, um, we know that one works. I think that closes it. It does. Okay, cool. So I'm getting used to how these work. Uh, but uh, PlayStation seems to run fine on it. Um, let's take a look at what N64 games will run. Apparently, there's only Star Fox 64, which isn't right. I copied a lot more than that, but we'll have to figure that out later. I'll probably figure that out off camera. <laughs> I'm just excited that it's working now. God, I love Star Fox. Great game. Good luck. Ooh. 
N64 is not great. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're oh, the boy, only it's hope out. for our world. It's not handling that well. Let's, uh, let's quit out of that. So N64, uh, Star Fox seems to be the limit there. See how uh, GBA runs. This ROM was a hand-me-down of a hand-me-down. <laughs> Had it for ages. Okay. So I think I, ha I am having power issues, is what it's looking like. Because when it starts to emulate anything too beefy, it seems to be uh, choking. Okay, well, I've got some work to do. I'm going to play around with it. It's almost 2 a.m. here, I think. So I've been at this for, uh, like, almost three hours. So we're going to call this a semi-success. And I'll hopefully um, circle back around maybe tomorrow to see if I can't um, figure out why this isn't working. But uh, that said, um, I'm, I'm just going to end it in this part here. This may be the end of the video and have a second video later on. Uh, we'll, we'll see. But anyways... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll call it a semi-success. So the assembly of this thing was a little bit easier than I expected, uh, easier than I anticipated. Uh, it's really neat that you can pull the actual cartridge, the, the drive bit, out and put it into the dust cover, and that's what makes the connection, and then you've got your USB. It's a really cool little gadget. Very easy to assemble, very easy to put together. Uh, most of my challenge was getting it to work with my RetroPie. Uh, I had to learn a lot of new steps, uh, like how to uh, use an external drive for the root of your RetroPie setup, things like that. Uh, luckily, uh, we got success towards the end, even though the scraping of all the metadata for all my games took forever and kept failing. Uh, but eventually I got it sorted out and for the most part, everything's working, which is pretty neat. I'm pretty, pretty impressed and pretty excited to have this, this uh, emulator box working. Uh, I have plans to uh, test it out using my Legends Ultimate arcade machine, which has OTG functionality. So hopefully I'll be able to use my control deck for my uh, Legends Ultimate to control the arcade games on my RetroPie. So I'll be doing a video of that uh, at some point in the future, but uh, until then, um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun putting it together and uh, uh, learning some new things and, and testing stuff out. So uh, if, if you enjoyed this video, please do consider uh, hitting the like and subscribe button. Uh, so the, hit the thumbs up for the video if you liked it, uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. Uh, just as an FYI, the glamour shots are coming, so uh, please uh, stay tuned for that. That's coming up. But uh, uh, please feel free to leave a comment if you've uh, ever bought one of these things or uh, done something similar. Uh, I wanted to have something that tied really well into my NES-style case for my RetroPie. Uh, but without further ado, I'm not going to delay you anymore. Uh, enjoy the, uh, the, the glamour of the retro flag cartridge hard drive enclosure. Bye.